hello, welcome um, to my first vlog. I can't believe it's taken me years to actually decide to start a YouTube channel and start vlogging. I kind of figured A, I love to talk. B, you guys always ask me questions to kind of like, what do you do in your day? What do you eat? Or can you tell us a little bit more about this or this or this? So I just thought I'll take you with me. So today is going to be an average Wednesday and I'm going to take you on my day because why not so right now I don't normally walk the kids to school at all but it's a beautiful morning and I'm on my way to do reformer pilates it's a eight o'clock in the morning class um look how beautiful this is right let's go <laughs> I'm now debating, do I keep it? Do I get it taken off? So yeah, you can see it drowns me a little bit. I think if I went to this level, that's better. I'm now dressed amazingly. And um, what am I doing? I am today, a lot of people kind of say, what do I actually do? Hopefully by doing some of these vlogs, it will give you a bit of an insight. Obviously I used to be a deputy head teacher, so day was kind of planned timetable hour by hour year by year for many years and then everything changed overnight um, now I do a mix of things um, obviously looking after my health is the main one um, and my kids although I'm rubbish at doing that a variety of different things um, from writing to broadcasting to podcasting hosting events to working with brands Today I'm doing a mix of different things. So right now I'm about to do some writing. I'm, it's not a secret that I'm writing another book. My first book was called If You Cancer. Uh, that was out a couple of years ago. I'm writing another one now to be out uh, next year. I'm gonna take you with me on the process. I can't take, say too much about it right now, but as soon as I can, I'll do a whole vlog on it um, and kind of start taking you with me on the absolute nightmare. And then this afternoon, I'm hosting a virtual event, which is for a body, a research body. Uh, well, a couple of research bodies coming together. It, like I used to, pre-COVID, host a lot of live events, do keynote speaking. It's probably with my background in teaching and obviously broadcasting. I am a bit of a geek when it comes to kind of data and talking about policies and I'm quite a strategist and I quite enjoy that kind of thinking um, I like that that kind of corporate environment a little bit in terms of just um, energy environment big energy environment and I miss that so I still get to do some of it virtually but I would say overnight when COVID happened like 
all the big events in my diary in terms of the things that I was keynoting at or I'm hosting pretty much changed or got bumped um, overnight and that was quite a big, big like, wow, what do I do? Um, but things are starting to come back, but they're virtual, which is fine. It's just, it's always very different. I like to actually see the whites of people's eyes when I'm talking and be kind of, because then you respond, you kind of change what you're talking about, respond accordingly. And actually when you can't see people, when you can't, um, I was gonna say touch people, but that sounds a bit weird. But you know what I mean? Like hug them, say hello. I'm quite touchy, kind of like, person still grateful to be able to do it so got that this afternoon so right now I'm still at the gym and um, I'm going to do about an hour more of writing which will probably be about a thousand words towards my book in terms of breakfast what am I eating green smoothies um it's kale kale and mango this one I quite like it actually to be honest with you a banana oatmeal latte um, and that's about it for me today um, I don't eat before I exercise. I can never exercise once I've eaten. Once I've eaten. But sometimes I do like a good like avocado and egg breakfast. But today I'm kind of on the run. I'll make sure I get a salad at lunchtime. And I will do a whole vlog about what I actually eat. I love my smoothies. Anyway, lots of love. Check in later. Back at home and uh, I've done a little bit of writing. I just, I get to a point where... I just can't do any more, basically. I normally work best, actually, at night time, so I'll get back into it. I'm going to have a little break, and then I'm going to prep, get some something to eat, and then prep for the session that I'm hosting this afternoon. But for the next half an hour, um, okay, I'm just going to show you my bedroom. This is currently a dressing table that is an utter mess. At some point, I need to go through every single wardrobe. I'll do it with you guys, because it will be better. And I need to get organised, get kind of, I'm not used to working from home and it's kind of just sleeping here and hoping that I'm just about on top of things. But now it's my base for everything. And I need to start tidying it. So I'm just going to start by packing away a lot of the stuff on here um, and sorting it out. Here goes. <laughs> So I, oh, I'm not sure about these glasses, have to be honest. They're slightly wild, aren't they? I'll show you what I did with my bedroom because I haven't finished it yet and I need to now do some preparation whilst I eat lunch. Then I'm going to be hosting like a three hour thing this afternoon. I have made for myself, let me show you. <laughs> what have I got? Um, yeah, I should probably be eating about half of this. I'm going to do like a good salad at lunch. Um, it's vegetarian. I've been vegetarian for five years, I need 30 years in fact. Um, at some point I'll show you all myself. I have this lockdown, I'm really enjoying cooking, I have to be honest. Um, I'll take you with me as I cook tonight. But I've got to eat and then run and do the conference. So I'll um, catch up with you in a minute. Mm -mm. One of my naughtiest vices is dark cake. I'm trying to drink less of it. I drink like a lot of um, juicing, like um, in terms of vegetable juices, like a good black coffee, just one oatmeal latte. I, I do have a bit of diet coke, I have to be honest with you. I'm trying to find things to replace it with. Water would be obvious. There's nothing like a diet coke. So I've just done my introduction for the virtual conference this afternoon. So interesting. I find this kind of thing fascinating. It's all about aging people with research. And so it's um, an umbrella, well, a couple of umbrella organisations and stuff like this. Brilliant. It's not just cancer. It's all different organisations. Right now we're talking about diversity. So how can we diversify research and patient engagement in terms of right now i'm actually learning about language and communication in terms of uh, the barriers uh, research has presented this is really fascinating i'm i'm currently working in my sitting room the reason is because my wi-fi is a bit sketchy and my husband is working up in what is now his office space that i'm desperately trying to nab to turn into some kind of like probably arguably a dumping ground for my clothes is currently upstairs I'm down here um I could be in the kitchen but the, the wi-fi is not as good in the kitchen so I'm basically in the corner 
which is is kind of almost like you know when you find a place where the wi-fi works and you just almost have to stick to it so you can see i'm over there Laton is currently in our sitting room because uh there's nowhere else to go winnie is hiding in the corner mess in the corner that i need to sort out um i don't think i've really shown my sitting room on here very much but you can see my husband my husband like made well not with his bare hands he designed it and um, this shelving unit it's got like lights in it so i'll show you one day um it's very cute i spend a lot of time watching uh television in the evening having a glass of wine i run well i'm always late for everything um I have a tennis assessment because I used to play tennis. I used to love tennis. I just haven't played for ages. But in order to get going into the right sessions, I need to have an assessment. Um, I forgot I put it in, but obviously I'm late for everything. So here goes. I have not played tennis in a very long time. I used to play and um, it was my childhood. Well, gymnastics was my childhood and tennis was my after that, um, I um, decided that I wanted to start playing again because it's a socially distant sport. But in order to do it at my club here, I need to have a tennis assessment. So I am about to give it a go. I genuinely have not picked up a racket years, years and years. But I love tennis, obsessed with Wimbledon, obsessed with clothing, um, of like love, love, love. So we'll see what happens. It could be love. That was fun. I think my problem with tennis, so I really enjoyed it. Why I don't play is because I did have a lung resection, and unfortunately, when you serve, serve essentially around my lung resection. So I want to play, but I don't know how to stop the pain. So I'm now in a bit of pain, which is a bit stupid. So I think I was thinking that I'd be feel quite strong because of reformer Pilates and stuff. Clearly. It's like quite a twisting movement. And so I'm just hoping I can move in the morning. It'll be fun. It was good fun. And I get to wear like tennis skirts, which I love. I do like tennis. Do you know the thing that really annoys me is my doctor said to me, no, I don't, I don't, you know, as much as you love tennis, I think considering where you've had your operations, it might be the one thing that you really struggle with. smacking it as hard as possible so I never get bored with that okay I've been allowed up into Hugo's room for like the first time ever ow to show you the thing that's basically getting me already it's a range called Mindstorms which I actually used to teach in the classroom I used to teach computing as my subject um up to a level and for key stage three as what are you doing Hugo you right there, Al. Just swinging. Just swinging. How come you're allowed in here and I'm not? So um, I want to pretend that homework is done. Not really. We've all been kind of doing our own things. And I have been finally tidying um, my desk. Look. I started it earlier today. I'm not going to pretend it's not perfect. But I do have like some of my earrings here. And obviously... You know, occasions, more earrings. I'm a bit obsessive with earrings. I've got like some makeup that I use all the time here. And what I've managed to do, I'll show you, it's in the bathroom, is I have, you can see, 
oh yeah there you go in my cupboards i have her, all my skincare and everything here i do have quite a lot i have to be honest with you i got i kind of it does look a little bit like a pharmacy um <laughs> just like looking at just like looking at it now i'm like whoa okay um, and this is just the stuff that i use <laughs> i like i like products basically and um, i will go through them at some point me and ellie are going to actually i'm going to show you something really quick quickly let me put this down Oh yeah, that would be quite good, wouldn't it? If I could put it there. Shall I see if that works? Does that work? Almost. No. Nah. Maybe. I think that's kind of almost good, right? Mm. I got a delivery from John Lewis. I have obviously previously worked with John Lewis. I love this stuff. It was actually really kindly from their beauty department. It's, I get, so I get quite excited, obviously. I mean, who wouldn't get excited by these deliveries? The only problem is, I, I know what it is. Oh, here we go. The, the problem is, I know what it is. And it's their beauty advent calendar. And you've just seen all my products in there. The only thing is, I don't want to open each window. So I don't really know what to expect. Um, because it's going to be a bit boring because I'm just going to end up showing you a box. But we'll see. Why can't I do this? Why am I actually that useless? So, I'm feeling a little bit Christmassy at the moment again, I have to be honest with you. Um, I swear, when people normally do this, they just kind of like, it's just all done, isn't it? I did something, actually. I spent, so I love the theatre, it's the thing that I'm missing, probably one of the most. Um, and on Britain's Got Talent, they had that um, beautiful compilation of Cameron McIntosh and Le Mis. And I spent yesterday on my laptop um, four and a half hours in the queue to get tickets. Um, I managed to get tickets, which is amazing. So I'm gonna take my parents and and the kids um, just before Christmas. And it's, it's kind of the concert one. Oh. Sorry. Oh, I can just actually lift it out. That's hilarious. And I'm really looking forward to it. I used to go to the theatre, like most weeks actually. Um, it's kind of what I love to do. It's where I would spend a lot of time and I'm just gutted. Um, yeah, just gutted that hasn't been happening recently, to be honest with you. So, oh, this is exciting. I enjoy this beauty advent calendar. Okay. Right, now... I am obsessed with advent calendars. I have, most years I buy some kind of perfume one, um, just because I love them. Um, I've never managed to get hold of the Liberty one. My brother did though, my brother got hold of it one year for my mum. Um, and I just get really, ex oh, this looks fun. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it's nice, bright color. You know that that's gonna probably sit there until Christmas. Now, look at this. Okay, so I've just taken the sleeve off and then I'm assuming, ah, that's really fun, isn't it? Now, the only thing is, I don't want to open it all because then it's gonna ruin the surprise. So I might just read out some of the things. Oh, oh, that's like a Hermes perfume. <gasps> it's got Charlotte Tilbury in it. Okay, what I'm gonna do, oh my word, I'm basically just ruining the surprise for myself which is a little bit silly, isn't it? That's quite good, isn't it? Problem is now I want to use it. This is, this is the problem. Like, you can't send me a beauty advent calendar and not expect me to open it. Oh, look at that. That looks really nice. Okay, what I might do is... Oh, I need that. Oh, just okay. Liquid eyeliner. I could do with that actually. I can't believe I'm using this. Is this going to be bad luck if I start using it before Christmas, or do we just roll with it because of the year that we've had? Maybe we should just do that. And roll with it. Well, that's a nice eyeliner, isn't it? Who's that from? Ico. Oh, it's really nice. I like that. Anyway, 
Right, we're gonna go and uh, have supper. Me and Ellie, um, Ellie's my little sous chef, so um, Seb's still on work calls. Um, so we're gonna go make dinner. I've got quite into cooking recently, um, and obviously I'll take you guys through some of the stuff, but in the evenings, at the moment, pretty much every evening, um, myself and Ellie, especially during the weekday, not at the weekends, but especially during the weekday, me and Ellie cook up one of the box meals. At the moment, I kind of am trying HelloFresh. I've been trying that for most of lockdown. I then got onto Gusto because their meals, I think, are quicker and easier, but I still, I now order both, but which is quite extravagant. However, mainly because I'm vegetarian, the kids eat meat along with my husband, and we kind of mix and match meals. So I buy different meals for two people so that we can put a couple of them together. Um, and then, well, what are we cooking tonight, Al? Food. Food, apparently. Okay, right. Recipes. Where are the recipe cards, sweetheart? In the fridge. Why did you put the recipe cards in the fridge? No, you put them in there. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And the top shelf. Well, that's where I got them yesterday. What? Okay, so I'm confused. She's rolling out some dough. Okay, we should be at I'm really confused. Mm. Dot com. Um, we should be here. Well, they're not in there, so has somebody thrown them? Just go there. Oh. Why, why are we wearing our tie-dye t-shirt? We made this tie-dye t-shirt over the summer, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marie, the fridge. Dog. Okay, so um, we have paprika chicken. I'm not going to use this. One point easy. And this is all from Gusto. We have meat free chicken. We have chicken stir fry. We have a sticky salmon mango salad. We need to use that today. We have super Asian. Oh, super we need fast. to do the prawn and chorizo rice. Fast. We need to do prawn and chorizo rice without the prawns for me. And I think we need to cook the, but that's got quite a lot of rice. I don't really want that. I kind of want this, but without the horns. Okay, let's see what meat's going off first for you guys, and then I can work around it. Okay, so okay. we're going to go leave you and put you on time lapse. <laughs> we have debates about what meals we're cooking. So we're definitely making this one. This is the salmon and mango, but we're adding bacon lards because they go off. Yeah. And then I always have to adapt stuff as a vegetarian. Um, I'm gonna cook a prawn and chorizo Spanish style rice, but and without just, the prawns. And just put the prawns in the bowl because they yeah. are also So I kind of use HelloFresh and Gusto as a base, and then I go kind of off piste. Should we see what happens? Yeah. How did we do, Al? Did it set in salmon? Yeah, the salmon's not burnt, the sauce around it is a bit burnt though. We ended up not following recipes, so we ended up doing our own, like... It turned out the same. It kind of turns out the same. Basically, we have to just mix and match. Right, we're gonna um, go eat. Okay, dinner done. I'm gonna check out. Thank you so much if you've made it to the end of this vlog. Um, please give me some feedback, um, hopefully positive, but hopefully kind of what you want to see from me, what you'd like me to focus on, uh, how often would you like it, so many different things uh, we can do, uh, really just because I quite like having a chat in this new lockdown world, and so it feels nice to uh, have a whole bunch of friends, I hope, or whoever maybe might hopefully tune in. I'm sure there's something you're supposed to say at the end of a vlog, such as um, subscribe and share. Uh, what are you supposed to say, Elle? Bye guys, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to this video. Is I'm that right? Yeah. Did I get it right? Yeah. Apparently, I got it right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Take care. Bye. <laughs>